Welcome back guys, uh, I'm right here with another game of Agricola, this time playing with Montu, Mercator, and Naros, I believe it's just G456. Um, in this opening pack, I think the two really only reasonable choices are Oven and Meyer and Remodeler, we opened a pretty garbage pack. Um, Ram Wrangler is playable, Wood Distributor is playable, Harvest Helper is playable, but none of these are even close to first pick quality cards. The only first pick quality cards, I think, are Oven and Meyer and Remodeler. Um, yeah, so, uh, I, I, I prefer Oven and Meyer. I like Oven and Meyer as a card a lot. Um, it's a pretty big payoff, and buying the Stone Oven can be decent in a lot of situations anyways. Uh, so, definitely what I'm gonna pick. Things to keep in mind on the wheel, um, maybe Ram Wrangler. Bowyer is okay. Harvest Helper might be okay if we see somebody else doing crop strategies and we, since we're buying the stone oven, finding a way to get some grain could be nice. Um, but yeah, nothing I'm super thrilled to wheel here. Like I said, it's a pretty, pretty awful pack. Um, wow. Easy acquire here. Um. Well, I, actually, I shouldn't say that. Photographer is excellent, excellent, excellent. Um. It's pretty easily just, like, five points. Um. At least four points almost all the time. And, yeah, five, five points is pretty easy to get off of it. Visionary is also fine, especially with Oven Admire. Uh, being able to get like a cow early since you want to fence early with visionary is decent but there's some overlap visionary gives you a vegetable which devalues the vegetables you get from oven and meyer um yeah I, I think acquire is definitely the pick here i'm a big fan of this card um and taking acquire and wheeling master cook would be incredible that's a very strong combo um I don't think we'll wheel Master Cook because there's some trash here. Family Planner's bad, Musketeer's bad, and Small Holder's bad. But um, if somebody goes for Midnight Fencer over Master Cook and Visionary, then we, we could wheel it. But yeah, I, I like Acquire a lot. This does mean. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is a bit interesting, because Acquire doesn't necessarily combo super well with Oven and Meyer. Oven and Meyer, like, um, well, for one, you want to build the Stone Oven, and buying the Stone Oven isn't incredible with Acquire, because with Acquire, you definitely need to buy a cooking hearth. Um, and then Acquire can normally give you, like, cows or even vegetables, so the payoff of Oven and Meyer in being able to get, like, a cow earlier than normal isn't particularly... Uh, strong. But it's still decent. Um. Bread Carrier is interesting with, uh, or not Bread Carrier, Ham Glazer, sorry, is interesting with Acquire because you can acquire boars very easily. So if you have a way to bake, then. You, you can, like, if you can bake reliably, like, if you open something like Bread Machine, then you can get tons of food. Studmaster is decent. We have a way to get cows and boars with Acquire. Um, so if we could fence relatively early and acquire a cow and a boar, we could play Studmaster. But, um, I mean, Studmaster, like, the payoff just didn't that big when we can just acquire a breeding pair anyway. Pig Breeder is fine. Land Surveyor is not super interesting with what we have, and I don't want Rice Farmer. I think I'm going to go for the Ham Glazer and hope to find a way to reliably bake. Um, we can, like, play first turn Acquire, Acquire a Boar, and then play second turn Ham Glazer, and that will give us a ton of food. We can maybe also plow a field at some point and, like, go on so bake. So, yeah, I, I think Ham Glazer with Acquire is a pretty cool combo, but, yeah, I mean, the main concern is just going to be finding ways to bake. 
something like Baker would be great to open. As I said before, Bread Machine would be great. Um, what else? Um, I can't think of anything else off the top of my head, but yeah, I oh something like Grain Mill Oven would be great to open. Grain Mill Oven would go great with Oven Admire and with this, because you play it and get a bake action, bake it, bore, and then you can discard it by the stone oven. Then when you buy the stone oven, you get a bake action, you bake another bore. Um, wow, 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 wow. So Trailblazer and Pen Builder are both super interesting, given that we can acquire animals, so Pen Builder would allow us to breed them a lot. Um, and Trailblazer gives us something to do with So Bake. So like Ham Glazer, if we don't find another way to bake, we want to go on So Bake a lot. Um, because uh, that that's the best way to bake and so trailblazer means we can sow and by sowing we can plow fields as well I, i'm very sad we only get one card out of, of this pack uh and I, I mentioned these two but the thing i think i have to take here is actually bone collector because with acquire even without ham glazer acquire bone collector is incredible um yeah, I mean, you we are going to eat either a bunch of boar or a bunch of cows, and Bone Collector just gives us a massive amount of wood, so I think it has to be the pick. But that's very sad that we're passing both Pen Builder and Trailblazer because those both would be excellent. Um, Yeah, now, now the main thing I'm looking for in this draft is going to be ways to bake because that's definitely our best food engine. And it's an engine for wood. Because um, if we could survive for a while without having to buy a cooking hearth, that'd be really nice for us. <laughs> um... Bowyer is fine. Um, old Miser is like not completely uninteresting with Acquire. We, with Acquire, we want to stay on a few family members and we want a lot of food. So like Old Miser giving us a good number of food could be interesting, but I think we should be able to survive considering cooking animals is going to give us wood. We want to cook a lot of animals. So... I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, I don't know if we want Bowyer. Um, we probably want to be taking animal accumulation spaces with Bone Collector. Stonebreaker can bail you out of situations, and Harvest Helper is decent. Um, I think I'll take Harvest Helper in case somebody else is going for crop strategies, but I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't get played, or we just play it very late. Yeah, so... Master Cook didn't wheel, unfortunately. But, I mean, that's okay. It makes our actions slightly better when somebody else is playing Master Cook, and it also adds food to the game, which is good for Acquire. Um, Midnight Fencer is the only playable card here. Well, I should say that. Small Holder is playable, but I don't like it. I think it, it, it's definitely worse than Midnight Fencer. Yeah, so my plan is just going to be to play Acquire and then play Acquire a Boar, play Ham Glazer the next round. Um, yeah, I'm so sad that I couldn't take Trailblazer. It's possible I should have taken it. Oh, Harvest Helper actually will be great if somebody else takes the Trailblazer. Because Trailblazer, you want to sow grain relatively early. So Harvest Helper could trigger, like, every harvest. And Harvest Helper also messes with the Trailblazer. Um, so Trailblazer... Like, one of the problems with Trailblazer is when you sow um, the the harvest that the last resource comes off of something. Like, when the last resource comes off of one of your fields in the harvest, the next round, you're not able to plow a field because you no longer have uh, all sowed fields. And Harvest Helper can increase the number of times that happens. So we can definitely hurt whoever has the Trailblazer. I'm, I'm very glad I took the Harvest Helper. Uh, 
Um, so what was so what have we passed? We passed Master Cook, so somebody's doing Master Cook things. Um, Montu knows we have a choir, so he might have taken the Master Cook just to make sure it didn't come back. Um, pig Breeder's the pick here, I think. Bread Carry is all right, but Pig Breeder is pretty strong with Bone Collector. Um, I don't mind Mailman, but yeah, Pig Breeder's definitely the best of these cards. Um, oh wow. Alright. Animal Pen for sure. We can play Acquire, Ham Glazer, Bone Collector, and then something. Um, we want to wheel Plowman's Lunch. Plowman's Lunch can give us a million plows, but Animal Pen with Acquire is definitely too strong to pass up, especially when we can play a good amount of Ox. Um, yeah. We would love something like Bread Paddle, um, actually, just anything that would allow us to bake bread, but we definitely want to wheel Plowman's Lunch here. Flower Pots will probably go, Engineering might go, Planter Box will probably go, so, um... We didn't really pass anything that encourages Plowman's Lunch, so I wouldn't be surprised if we wheel it, but it is a decent card if you have the right setup, so I also wouldn't be surprised if we didn't wheel it. Yeah, our plan is absolutely just going to be play Acquire, play Ham Glazer, play Bone Collector, then play a Fourth Hawk, and Animal Pen. Probably, probably, hopefully somebody is going for a super early trailblazer and we can play Harvest Helper as our fourth hawk because right now we don't have a great fourth hawk. We can't, it, it would have to be a pig breeder, actually, now that I think of it. Um, we do basically have a dancer in that acquiring a boar costs us two food and then if we just go on so bake then that's six food. So we have an automatic four food action, which is pretty nice. It doesn't cut food out of the game like Dancer does, because Dancer means nobody else can take traveling players effectively. But um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty good for us. That would have been even better if we had Master Cook. We could have gotten like a crazy amount of food. But actually, now that we have Animal Pen, not getting Master Cook is perfectly acceptable for us. Oh, we, wow. Oh, oh my God. So we actually opened Bread Paddle, which is incredible for us, but, and this is a big but, we might be able to wheel it, and Fruit Tree is pretty absurdly strong. Um, is there any way Bread Paddle doesn't wheel? There's two Alms cards, so somebody might go for that. Ruins is fine, White Kingdom is fine, Kindling is fine, Dual Field is good. Oh man, can we risk it? The last game I played, I got, or er, two games ago, I got extremely punished for trying to wheel a card that I thought would almost certainly wheel. Um, I mean, it's Bread Paddle. We didn't see anybody else with any baking cards. Oh, it's so risky, but Fruit Tree is so good. I guess the thing is, if I take Bread Paddle here, like, is my game strong enough on its own that it's just, like, perfectly fine? And I think the answer is yes. Like, this setup of Acquire into Bread Paddle with Bone Collector, Ham Glazer, Harvest Helper... Um, like, we just get such a crazy influx of food playing Animal Pen. Man. Man, man, man. Oh, man. I really want to take Bread Paddle here. But Fruit Tree is so much better. It's unreal how much better Fruit Tree is as a card. And Bread Paddle, I think, wheels like 99% of the time. So somebody's probably going to go for Alms Basket Engineering. Somebody will probably take, like, White Kingdom or Dual Field. 
yeah, I guess this pack just isn't deep enough when we're taking the best card. Like, it should wheel, but I don't think it's a guarantee. So I think we have to make a horrendous pick here just because they're set up so strong with it. I don't think we have to get greedy. Which is, it makes me so sad, but... I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, so right now we have no way to plow, and March is really great for us. Costermongers is also good for us. We are gonna get a good number of veggies, and we might be able to wheel March. Probably not, but it's possible. Um... Yeah, so we're getting two veggies from Oven and Meyer. We're getting one veggie. Oh, no, we didn't take the boar card. Um, we didn't take Visionary. That's also worth pointing out. Visionary did not wheel. So somebody's going for Visionary. Um, man, whoever has the Visionary might take the March. That's annoying. But Costermonger is pretty good for us. We can also just acquire vegetables for points. We'll have a lot of food from Animal Pen and our boar strategy. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. Baker's Kitchen is also alright, honestly. I think I'm going to go for Costermongers. I really like Costermongers as a card. Is that right? I think we'll have a good amount of wood from Bone Collector. And there's... I think March is probably more likely to wield than Costermongers. Sure. The Visionary player might be the Trailblazer player, which means they would sow vegetables for Costermongers. That would make our Harvest Helper worse, but that's fine. Um, so we can get a crazy amount of stone with the Port La Have, actually because we're going to have basically all the bake actions we want. So as long as we get up our stone oven um, to play this, then, yeah, we, we can we can get a pretty crazy amount of stone. Horse is obviously bad for us. Clay deposit is all right. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to go with the Port La Havre. There, there were multiple cards with big stone costs in this game. There was Ruins and um, the Pasture card, the four stone, two point, immediately fence of space. And that card would be great for us if we could get a lot of stone. Um, yeah, and we also want to buy stone ovens. Our stone costs are going to be pretty big if we wheel one of those cards. Do we need clay deposit for points? Um... Probably not. Costermongers open it's our point ceiling. Um, yeah, I think we have a good amount of points. My one concern with the Port Lahav is we're going to bake way less later in the game. We're going to bake early by forcing out a ton of ox with bread paddle. But, yeah, we'll, we'll have to see. Um, whatever card was here, we did not wheel. What, what card was that? Um, there was some card in this pack that we didn't that we wanted to wield that did not come back. I forget what it was. Did it have to do with animals? Did it have to do with baking? I don't remember. Um, we don't have a way to plow right now, so Harrow's probably the pick. I mean, we can use wh whoever else is Harrow, but. Uh, I want to make sure it gets played since we really have no way to plow right now. And also somebody has Trailblazer, so they'll plow with that. Um, yeah, I do not remember what the card we wanted to wheel here was, but we definitely did not wheel it. Whatever. Does the stone card come back? Uh, Ruins comes back. Um... Yeah, I mean, looking at what's left in this pack, I wouldn't... It was not 
uh, I was expecting somebody go f- to go for Elm's Basket Engineering, so the fact that nobody went for that makes me pretty happy I took Bread Paddle. I mean, Bread Paddle still probably would have wheeled, but I de- that's definitely not a risk that I should have taken. I think going for I, the safe line was was correct. Um, Kindling's a bit interesting with Acquire, but we now have a way to bake pretty reliably with Bread Paddle and Animal Pen. That, that should cover a lot of our food needs. So, I mean, Kindling helps us get a, like, with Bone Collector, we want a cooking hearth probably at some point, just because eating all these animals will give us wood, but, yeah, I'm I'm fine taking runes here. Laporte Le Havre probably will give us stone. We could also consider wooden crane, but, I mean, the main thing we would want wooden crane for is just to get stone for stone oven and ruins, and maybe the, the stone fencing card. Yeah, I'll go with runes. Getting a stone oven is going to be pretty important this game, I think. We want to collect a good amount of stone. Oh, we also got a circling wall. Awesome. Supply exchange is alright, but, um, yeah. Wheeling and circling wall makes me a little bit sad. We played ruins. Took ruins. Um, we're really going to rely on Laporte, the Port Le Havre for stone. So, yeah, getting a two or three stone grab for the stone oven is going to be super important. Also, March didn't come back, worth pointing out. It's less important now that we have a harrow for an extra plow. Um, But, yeah, I mean, all things to keep in mind. One thing is we definitely want to fence pretty early. We'll probably focus... um, But the visionary will conflict with us on that, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, other than, like, spamming Ox to get Animal Pen out, this is going to be an interesting game. Um, Ideally, I'll go Acquire into Two Wood, so I'd like to go first, just to guarantee I get Acquire into Two Wood. Oh, no, that doesn't work, because I I would need a food to play Ham Glazer. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have to see. Yeah, I wish I could remember what was in the animal pen pack that I wanted. I'm definitely not going to be pushing for Family Grow at all for a while. Um, I'm just going to be forcing out Ox and building probably towards fences. Um, like I, I'll, I'll probably start pushing for Family Grow around late stage two and stage three. Um, just because setting up everything else seems way more important. Um, I'll, once I get the animal pen up, I'll start taking Reedstone food to build towards room and for the stone oven, but. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. So we're going last, which we're fine with. Um, we'll, we'll go three wood and just start player bread paddle, assuming three wood's what comes. Cater first actioning fresh dirt worker. Interesting. So he's telegraphing that he's going to plow first action, but we're not going to block him. We just want three wood. Very nice going first, being able to play this. Um, because the, the first four actions are so much better than the other actions that he's almost certainly going to wield plow. But if he was going like second, it's relatively likely that the person in first would just plow to block him.
major improvement flipped, which doesn't really matter for us given we're going to use ham glazer, glazer for early feeding, not a cooking hearth like you normally do with a choir. Wow, Naro's first action's three wood. That's so annoying for us. I mean, we, we Montu will take redstone food, I imagine, so we should be able to get Ock, I guess. But yeah, that's that's not great for us. I wonder if I take one wood to play bread paddle, or if I just day labor. No, I, I, I should take day labor because otherwise I won't have enough food to um, play ham glazer. Oh, Naros is probably going for the, um, what's it called, strats, the engineering columns basket strats, which makes sense, but taking three wood over readstone food is pretty crazy for that. Mercator will plow, Naros will take two wood, and Montu will take two clay. Um, so we might be going last again, which is pretty brutal. Yeah, this start is pretty rough for us. Interesting spot to plow for Mercator. This looks like a sunrise admire. Yep, Naros takes two wood, Monty will take two clay, and I have to day labor since I didn't get a wood for a bread paddle. Not a great start for us, but I guess getting, oh, Monty taking start player is incredible for us. Um, I'm just gonna leave two clay there. I, I don't need the cooking heart this game. I'd much rather do the ham glazer stuff. This is gonna look strange, but um, yeah, I mean, it's definitely correct. Passing on two clay and acquiring a boar are both a bit weird here. I guess passing on two clay is fine because it means will. Um, we could get four clay, but I, I mean, I'm gonna show what I'm doing now. Um, so second action, we will take two wood probably. Mercator takes reed. Naros will either take four clay or three wood since he obviously doesn't want Ock. Montu will probably get Ock back. If Naros takes four clay, we might get three wood back, which would be would be excellent for us. No. Um, well, I think with bread paddle, we, we just want to continue. Um, we, we want to wait to get bread paddle up to, before we start acquiring, or before we start playing more ox is what I mean. Um, we should be pretty safe to wheel 
an Auk next round since both Montu and Naro seem pretty uninterested in playing Ox. Wait, Montu took a grain? Oh, he played Corn Chief, of course. Naros plays Pen Builder, sure. Okay, so Naros isn't doing engineering stuff. Maybe he was trying to and just decided that you'd rather play Nock than take a horrendous action. Or maybe Montu's doing the engineering. Um, yeah, we should wheel an occupation. I'm gonna start player bread paddle here. We should wheel an occupation here. All right, we are. Awesome. Yeah, I, I our setup seems pretty, pretty wild, but it's definitely, like, feels very bad. Um, I'll probably just go... Ock into re up start player animal pen next round. But, um, yeah, I mean, we would have to get like six wood for that not to be worth it. Oh, wow, we get one food Ock. Incredible. Yeah, this is also, this is after, so we turn this into a net five food. And a wood. Um, I'm curious what Mercator's doing. Oh, he's probably just setting up the fresh dirt worker. He'll probably just plow again. This definitely looks like a sunrise admirer, though. Um, what do I acquire next turn? I guess it depends what I want to play. Maybe we'll just play Pig Breeder. Naros plays Visionary. Oh, okay, that's what Naros is doing. All right, so Naros not competing for Family and Grow is excellent for us. It means we are going to be able to hop in. Yeah, I feel pretty great about our setup. Um, I can acquire a stone here. I can acquire a reed to try to build. Um, I think there's a good chance we will, or that we m might get six wood. It's no guarantee, but it's definitely possible. Um, we de I think we play pig breeder here, so we definitely don't acquire an animal. Is a veggie stone or a reed better? I don't like veggie. Um. Let's acquire a stone, I think. Because we might get three read next round.
yeah, either we're getting like six wood or three red. Um, Yeah, we want to get stone, I think, to build towards Oven Admire. Um, I might take six clay over, um, like, reed or reed stone food if we don't get the opportunity for six wood, given that um, clay makes it possible for us to, what's it called? To the Port, La the Port La Havre, a bunch of stone. Yeah, I mean, this is a bit awkward because if we acquired reed, we would be able to acquire another reed and take six wood and be set up to build. But then Mercator would just build in front of us. Alright, so we're not getting six play next round. Sure, I guess. Montu gets either room or four wood, so it's looking pretty likely that we get six wood at this point. But, I mean, Naros might take it. Naros has a lot of wood needs. We could also get three reed. We definitely want to see stone flip, given how much stone we need. We play animal pen, obviously. Turn four animal pen is excellent, especially with the choir. So I, I feel like we're in a pretty insurmountable lead right now. Not sure why it double announced animal pen. Oh, Montu also has another action. Montu won't let us get six wood, I don't think. Naros takes a grain. Very, very interesting. Naros probably has trailblazer. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll definitely take six wood if it comes. If it doesn't, I'll have to decide between five clay and three reed. Five clay might be better, since I can acquire resources. Um, yeah. Uh, well, we'll see what flips. Um. Alright, I think I acquire a stone and take... Um... Well, taking, hmm, this is, this is really hard. I might wheel three read, actually. Um. Let's acquire stone, yeah, and take five clay and hope to wheel reread I think I don't really I'm not oh I'm not really in a hurry to family grow given that family growing makes my acquire more expensive Yeah, I think Naros probably has Trailblazer and will be sowing, which makes our Harvest Helper nice, and then my Harvest Helper also hurts Naros, so yeah. Also, with Family Grow flipping in five, Visionary becomes what much worse, especially when I might not grow immediately. Uh, 
Um, I doubt Norris takes three read here. But I don't know what he takes. Reads on food. Okay, interesting. We'll snap three read. Yep, Montu family grows. Nada. Oh, not great for Montu. I, I was expecting like an alms basket or engineering. Uh, I need to go for a second. All right, I'm back. Um, the next round hasn't started, so we didn't miss acquiring anything. We're getting at least six, four wood next round, maybe six wood, so that's great for us. We'll be able to build a room second action next round. Um, I'll acquire another stone for stone oven, I think. Yeah, and Montu can't jump us for family grow in any way. Montu deciding if it's worth hating or six wood when we're getting four wood anyways. Um, yeah, I'll acquire another stone. I might play Ruins next round instead of Stone Oven, actually. Or not next round, in round seven. I'll acquire stone, then acquire stone and play Ruins, I think. Um, hopefully Naros doesn't take her stone oven for some reason, though. Here we definitely take six wood, obviously. Naros took two sheep last round, built another pen. Stone didn't flip, which is a bit annoying, but taking two stone in round eight should be fine into Reno Stone Oven. Yeah, I feel like we're in a completely dominant position here. We can't really get blocked on wood with, what's it called, pig breeder. Um, there was some pottery card. I think it was just alternative materials, nothing incredible. 
This means our stone oven's not remotely threatened, which is good for us. Interesting that Naros hasn't played, um, what's it called? Trailblazer yet. I would have expected that to come out already. Montu takes redstone food. So Montu can build a room in front of us, so we need to build here. I don't think I want to build a stable, but I could. Um, yeah, maybe I should. No, I'll wait. Montu might get to start player into six wood here, which is fine by us. He also might set up to jump Naros in the family grow queue, since Naros isn't really close to building a room right now. Um, Ruins and Acquire might cover most of our stone needs. We might not even need Laporte, the Port Le Havre. Um, but I don't remember. Costermongers what was what we t took over March, which was questionable. I think the cards we took over Laporte and Le Havre over were probably all worse. Like, I don't think that decision was very close, if I remember right. Oh, Vine Dresser from Naros, but that doesn't do anything. Hmm. I wonder if Gardening Enthusiast is coming out. know if we saw a gardening enthusiast, but whatever. Montu is probably going to start player here, I imagine, because he doesn't want to go last, and the actions next round are going to be pretty good, but yeah, who knows. Um, I could risk not acquiring a stone. I could, like, take read stone food next round. Hmm. I think I'd rather take like six clay and take redstone food in the future. Oh, I'm start player. So we don't have the option of six clay. So yeah, I can take redstone food. Um, what do we want to acquire? A boar? Um, yeah, let's acquire a boar, so we'll be set up to take stone oven in this round, I think. Um, hmm. Oh, no offense. Yeah, let's acquire a boar, I think. Yeah, I think redstone food's better than fort wood for us here. I would have liked six clay, but... Um, next round we can acquire a stone, take redstone food again, and then run out a stone oven and be close to building another room if we get a four clay, which is great. Um, if we build stone oven next round, we also can acquire another boar and build oven and mire to take a big bread action in round nine, which just gives us crazy amounts of food. Naros built a cooking hearth. Sure, Naros needs food, but our situation is really bad. They need clay for pottery. Like, they need another food action to double breed. Maybe they'll take two sheep. I don't know. All I know is I don't see how we lose this game.
I mean, we're behind Matsu in actions, but we're so far ahead in literally everything else. We have crazy amounts of food. We have long-term wood. We have points coming in Stone Oven and Stone Admire. Um, yeah. We're definitely only competing with Montu. I think we have Mercator and Naros. Well, Nar Naros is just easily in last this game, I'm pretty sure. But Mercator, I think we also have beat. Yeah, Montu going hard family game, although... Um, like, he might have Wealthiest European or something, but if he had Wealthiest European, I don't know why you wouldn't take Almost Basket or Engineering, because those are both great cards with Wealthiest European. Um, here we Family Grow Ruins, for sure. Yeah, I'll acquire stone next round and try to take redstone food. We also want a four clay. Oh, Mercator plays remodeler, nice. Um, but Mercator needs four clay before he can renovate. Um, so if we like first action four clay, he can't do anything. So yeah, look, right now, if I get the chance at four clay, I'm definitely taking four clay over redstone food, even though it makes my stone oven harder. The only thing I would take over four clay is I think I have to take six wood over four clay, but I can't imagine Montu letting us get six wood. I think Montu would start player into six wood. Yeah, I have no idea what Montu's doing. Naros takes sheep again. Yeah, Mont Naros' game is just a train wreck, honestly. Oh, Pen Builder was in the same pack as Trailblazer, so Naros does not have Trailblazer. I guess it obviously also is not working with Vine Dresser, but I don't I don't know how Naros plans to combo this Vine Dresser. Naros needs like a landscape gardener or gardening enthusiast or whatever it's called. If Mercator doesn't start player here, Montu will start player. Mercator got fruit tree. Yeah, oh, of course. So Mercator's going to first action four clay next round. Unless Montu, for some reason, lets him get six wood, which would be good by me. Actually, Naros probably also takes four clay. Naros needs clay for pottery. Um, at least we should wheel Raidstone food, and then maybe we can get four clay in round nine and set up to build. Montu does not let... Oh, Montu giving Mercator the option of six wood. What did Montu take? Oh, Montu was struggling to feed. Sure. Does Mercator take four clay over six wood? It's definitely a risk. Right, remodeler requires, yeah, before paying the cost of the renovation. Nope. Guess he figures giving Naros six wood isn't that big of a deal. Um, so we will take redstone food for sure if it comes. It's pretty important for us to get. Um, hopefully we are able to get four clay next round. Um, we'll probably play cost start player costume mongers here to make sure we get four clay. Montu might take. I think Montu will probably take four wood over redstone food, but no guarantee. Um, but yeah, we really need this four clay, so I'll probably go redstone food. Well, no, Mercator will reno next action. Um, I'd also like three stone next round because it lets me play 
what's it called? Um, oh, wow, it's Energizer coming out. That's the latest Synergizer I've ever seen. Um, we take Redstone food here for sure. Oh, um, okay, I, I see. Montu figured playing Synergizer was worthless since Mercator would just plow with fresh dent and dirt worker. But, I mean, I don't know if this is true. It Mercator would have plowed twice, but Mercator or Montu still could have gotten a plow in round three and a plow in round four. Naros has the march. Sure, is Naros a start playing? That's annoying. Um, I'm definitely gonna run out. Oh wow, Mercator takes three clay. That's really annoying um whatever we're definitely renoing here because I want the reno and I definitely want stone oven so I might as well reno stone oven instead of major minoring stone oven I definitely need stone oven this turn because I need the bake action for the boar so I can acquire another boar Um, I'll probably first action three stone next round if it comes to me. So in round 10, I can, um, what's it called? Encircling wall, since four clay won't be available. Montu, plows, sure. Grain, not veggies, interesting. Um, I'll be able to play a harvest helper over at Oven Admire next round, actually. Um, I acquire a boar next round and then either play Harvest Helper or Oven Admirer. Uh, plow should be relatively clear this game. Naros plowed two with March and the rest of his plows will be with Vine Dresser. Montu's going to be plowing in like the next few rounds but won't be plowing much after that. Looks like Trailblazer didn't even get played this game, which is wild. Naros takes three wood, sure. Mercator took four. Oh, Naros already took his actions. Mercator takes four wood, sure. Montu will probably sell next round. Okay, I'm retren retrenching on Family Grow. Nice. Um, What do we take last action? We could take stone here, but I think we're getting three stone next round. Um, I can't play an Auk. Well, I could play Oven Admire and take a Boar off of it. Maybe I do that. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, let's try that. Then I can start player Coster Mongers, I think. We also want to start plowing... Um, so we definitely take three stone, then we probably play Harvest Helper and start player Coster Mongers. We also want to get Har Harrow up at some point. That will probably be a Family Grow play. I, yeah, I don't think Montu will three stone. I think he'll like plow a field here. Oh, with retrenching, he's definitely plowing. How does this read? Yeah, I'm sure he's plowing. 
If not, I'll definitely plow in front of him. Oh, improve. Sure, I don't care about that either. Oh, yeah, he gets another crop on the plow anyways. But does he get a plow and extra field? I guess he's just starving. Sure. We for sure take three stone. Um, we didn't acquire our boar. Um, next round we can start acquiring cattle, I think. Because we can play Encircling Wall, maybe on our Family Grow. Mercator will reno. Um, Um, yeah, so we start player Costermongers here, and we play Harvest Helper. Which order we do those on, who knows. Narrow so bakes, sure. Montu will definitely plan now. I think that we, we don't really need to start player here, so I think I'll play the Auk first to guarantee my extra food. Mercator's not a start playering, and I don't really care if Montu wants to start player. I'll have to decide who I want to help here. Um, probably Naros, because then Naros can't bake a grain without um, removing the vine dresser. Want to start playing? Sure. That's fine by me. I'll take three wood, I think. Oh, uh, Dormer for Montu, sure. Um, does this make rooms cheaper? Yeah, but he's not building any more rooms. Um, I really want four play next round. Mm -hmm -hmm. Do I need BMW? No, I'll just take the three wood. If Monty takes the four play, we'll get like four wood, which is also fine. Very, very much want four clay here, but Montu might take it. Montu only needs two clay to reno, so I don't think Montu takes it. But we'll have to see. Mercator plays Melon Patch, sure, perfectly fine. I think I'll help Naros because Naros needs the food more, and taking the grain could screw up his vine dresser possibly. Um, I don't want to give Montu free food. Although Montu won't be able... Oh, he has a Synergizer grain here. Montu will... Excuse me, still be able to bake next round. 
Um, it'll be harder, but yeah, I, uh, I, I'd rather. I, I don't want to get. Well, Montu has clay oven, so grain I think is more valuable for him. Yeah, I'm gonna help Montu. I'm also competing more with Montu, and I think in general a grain is more valuable than two food. already fed. Let me make sure. I didn't really announce it. I think I removed the food. Yeah, I did. I think I want to acquire a cow next round. So acquiring two cows puts me down to five food plus fit. Yeah, I definitely want to acquire a cow because then if I can build a room, if I go four clay, build a room, um, renovate, or family grow encircling wall. That gives me enough to, what's it called, to hold a second cow and start breeding them. I probably will also build one stable, at least. Two fence is six, maybe trying to take two boar. Oh, Montu will still have the grain. Maybe I shouldn't have helped him. So I have the stone. I will be down to 10 food total. Um, have to imagine Montu's taking the two boar here over anything else. I don't think he first actions for clay. He might take four wood, but I don't need wood. Okay, plowing, that also makes sense with Synergizer and the fact that he needs to sow. Easy for clay here. Then we build a room and we encircling wall. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I, I forgot that the grain came from the field, so I, I didn't get. Matu can still so bake, so I think it was a mistake to help them. But whatever, it was too late now. Yeah, because this also lines up as sows for the round 13 harvest. Um, I have to decide how many stables I'm building here. I think I'll build one. I don't know if I build more than that. Narrow star players. clay deposit. Um, interesting. We don't really need it. I mean, we could build another room at some point, but whatever. I'll probably stop acquiring soon, although if, if I run out of veggies, acquiring it's definitely worth it because I'm spending two food for a point. Um, Montu took four wood. Sure, makes sense. I'll build one room and one stable, I think. I'll build this down here, this up here. Yeah, I don't 
don't think I want two stables. No, I'm definitely playing more than three fields, I think. Oh, I could just fence this way, but no, I, if I'm fencing tight, this way is better. Um, whatever, I don't think it will matter that much. Montu gets the boards as well, nice for him. Um, if I will have the opportunity for a sew action, I'll still be able to acquire a boar at some point, because that's net food to bake it. Um, I get six food for baking boars and a wood, so that's definitely worth it. Um, I don't want to risk the chance of me getting two cows here. Naros will probably take two cows if he's still start player. And I'd rather take other actions first action anyways, like four wood or something, or plow. Plow is what I need the most, I think. I also need a start player. Maybe I'll start player first action, actually. I have the perfect amount of food for the harvest next round, but it's going to be hard to acquire a boar in the round 12 harvest. I guess costermongers will cover it. Mercator plays BMW makes sense. He took the million read. We're now caught up in actions and we've renovated. So we're a little bit behind in fields, but um, we're definitely ahead in food. So I feel like we're winning this game still. Yeah, I mean, we have so many improvement points. We have, what, nine improvement points. Um, we have Harvest Helper giving us more grain. We can also bake grain when we so bake if we want with Harvest Helper. We'll have plenty of grain. All right, so Naros is either gonna go first or second. So Naros should get the two cows. Did I not take these this food? Hmm. I'm gonna assume that I got it at some point, but we'll have to see. That was round eight. Um. Actually, according to the game long, I never took that food. I just removed three food. Montu takes start player. We get these food. Um, yeah, we'll plow field for sure. Plow 
was the most precious thing to us. Want to play forging? Okay. Um, I don't know whether that makes our harvest helper better or worse. Probably better. But yeah, I don't know. Arcator takes sheep. Um, so we can't play costermongers here. We'll probably just wait and play it in the round 13 harvest, I would guess. We'll take four wood if it comes back for sure. Mercator fencing tight is good for master build and mass midnight fencer. Um, Montu also might have to fence tight or fence thirteen. I don't know. Montu so makes makes sense. We take four wood. We could also try to buy joinery this game. Um. I'll probably take clay deposit and try to build another room since Montu is definitely going to family grow if it flips. I mean, we can start player for family grow, but I'd rather start player for Plowso. Harrow works on Plowso. Interesting. Yeah, so I'll, I'll take five clay with one of my actions, and then we'll like take two reed and build a room. We want to build more stables anyways. Yeah, we can play Harrow on start player next round, and then we can play Costermongers on Family Grow. Um, I also could just fence 12 here. I don't know how important that is, though. How much are we going to fence on... Or how, much, how many stables are we building? We're building three stables, so we need six wood. Um, so we want four more wood before we fence, or we want to get four more wood at some point. Um, we also have Costermongers and Harrow to play. We'll get Midnight Fencer wood. So room here, field, 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 field. Um, well, five fields is probably better, so we want 14 fences, actually. So assuming we're getting two here and Probably not two from Naros, but maybe maybe two from Montu. So we want at least ten fences. Um, I think we should wait to fence, probably. Until next round, which means... Well, one of our actions is clay deposit. I think I'll take that now. Um, Sobake is also okay for us, given that we have, what's it called? Yep, Sunrise Admire from Mercator. Makes sense. <laughs> yeah, so Plauso Plus isn't necessarily great for us. We do want to get Harrow out, though, so we probably should start player anyways. And we want to play costermongers on family growth. So yeah, start player next round is good for us no matter what. Um, here we... I guess here we just fence. Um, how much do I want to fence? Montu looks like Montu's going to fence 15. Naros probably won't though, so we should fence... One, two, three, four, five, six. Then one, two, three, four. Yeah.
Um, we also need boar at some point. Here we definitely start player Harrow. Assuming we don't get Plasso. I assume Montu will Plasso. Montu definitely wanted Family Grow, but um, I think Montu will Plasso rather than taking start player. Um, so here we Harrow. If two boar come back, we take them. If um, if not, we will take four wood. Um, we can also, what's it called? Well, we, we need to read with one of our actions, but that should float to last action. Naris will build this round and grow. So some of those actions are safe. Yeah, Mercator taking two boar makes sense. It's fine. We can acquire a boar next round and bake it with Midnight Fencer. Actually, that might not cover our harvest. Well, we can bake a grain as well. Um, we also want to plow. I think we take four wood over plow so that we can build two rooms on family grow. Yeah, Naras builds and we'll grow. We'll take four wood. Um, we need one more wood, actually, to play the costermongers. Maybe we build one less room. Hmm. That's a bit awkward. Montu fences, nine. Sure. Um... So four wood is two points, plowing is also two points, and plowing lets us sow more, so I should plow. Then we take two reed. Um, yeah, this will be a bit awkward, trying to figure out all the end of game stuff. It won't build stables. Nobody else needs wood, so I can probably take four wood. Last action, but nobody needs reed either. I'll probably take four wood, then two reed, I guess. Feeding is getting a bit sketchy. We definitely want to renovate to stone as well. Um, yeah, this is awkward. Montu. Wow, Montu takes two stone. That doesn't make any sense to me. We will take four food and four wood here for sure. Um, so read stone food and one stone gets us to three stone. So taking two stone in round 14 will let us reno if nobody else is set up to reno. Cater so bakes one grain. That's weird. Oh, also melon patch, sure. 
So, oh, I'd be very surprised if Mercator fences more, so my Midnight Fencer should be good, and Naros will struggle to get to 15 wood. Especially with Flying Dresser, so yeah, Midnight Fencer should be perfectly fine. I just have to decide whether I build um, one stable or two. Oh, I forgot about Pig Breeder. That's annoying. I could have, if I took two pigs first action, I could have bred them. Whatever. It's too late now. Montu takes four clay. To Reno, I guess. Um, we take two reed here. Um, so there's one Reno here. Naros might Reno to, for a Reno fence, but he just doesn't need it. Montu might Reno with Reedstone food, but he also might try to buy joinery. Mercator is Reno and Kier, so there's at most four renovations left, so I wouldn't be able to run out of stone if other people pressure it, but I think it's likely either Naros or Montu doesn't renovate, especially if we, um, what's it called? Um, well, we're acquiring a boar here. Um, can we afford to sow this grain? We might need to bake it, actually. Yeah, I think we need to break, bake it. No, oh, not food, grain. We could also buy a cooking hearth. Oh, a cooking, all the cooking hearths are gone. Maybe we could buy a fireplace. We'll have to wait and see. We have coster mongers for two food. Um, yeah, we need, we need to bake this. So, boar takes us to six, coster mongers takes us to eight. Yep. Yeah, if we can protect our reno, um, like if, um, so we're building a room and two stables and renovating this round. Oh, and then we need to play Midnight Fencer. Yeah, so we actually should play Midnight Fencer first since nobody can stable block us. Naros family grows, of course. As long as we get Auk here, we should be fine. Montu takes wood for stables, I assume. Um, oh no, Montu will run no joinery. So we build a room and two stables. Um, I guess we could consider playing Corn Chief instead of Coster Mongers and build three stables, because then next turn we can play Coster Monger. And um, with a wood from baking another boar. But, well, I don't know how we bake another boar. I don't see how we get food for it. It does net us food to bake another boar, but, um, I mean, we need all the food we can get. This should be here. 
want to, I assume we'll reno joinery and not build any stables. You can block me if he wants to build stables, but yeah. Joinery seems more valuable th to him. Naro's protecting his reno with redstone food, so we won't get a reno next round. Unless Montu, um, well actually Montu is not renoing, so we, we can reno if we take redstone food two stone, um, which might be worth it. It's one, two, three actions for six points, which might be worth it, might not. Here we build, uh, I have to decide whether it's worth it to not cost her this turn. I think we need the food. It's a bit inefficient in terms of spending our wood, but it, it should be fine. Yeah, I would have liked to corn sheaf, but whatever. Uh, well, yeah, we, we would have been able to play corn sheaf, and we also would be able to play costermongers next round in addition to playing building another stable, but... Um, I think we'll be fine. Montu played fireplace instead of joinery. That's very strange. Yeah, whatever I took over to Boar last round, I think was a mistake. Start player, yeah. That was not a good decision, but whatever. Mercator being star player means we're not getting plow so next round, but we should get so bake. Naras will so bake here. Naras should so bake here. I mean, I don't see how we lose this game. Naras taking wood. That's wild. Maybe Naras will first action so big next round. I don't know. Um, if we don't get so big next round, our feeding is gonna be sketchy. So big covers our harvest next round if since we can bake two grain and so a veggie. Um, but yeah, I mean not getting so big would be a big bummer. Very, very interesting to see what exactly happens, but I, I mean, this, this game is over. I don't see how we can possibly lose, but um, there are, seeing how the end of this game plays out will be a little bit interesting. Given that we probably won't be able to bake a boar next round, I think it's definitely better to leave the wood for costermongers, it looks like. Um. Here we family grow costermongers. Montu, if I help him, we'll have five, six, seven food. So he'd still need. So, um, I guess he can. Oh, he, he can eat wood. So yeah, I should help. Mercator. Yeah, I should help Mercator, I think. I think I'd rather Mercator have two food than um, Montu.
We also breed a cow. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with our game. Um, first action next round, we will. I don't even know what. Oh well, we'll so bake if it comes to us because that's pretty vital to our feeding. Um, and it's good point if we don't get so bake, I don't know what we do. But Naros will so bake, so that's a bummer. Yeah, Merc Mercator will plow so, so Naros has to so bake, I think. So baking is way too many points. Um Oh Mercator family grows. Well that's great for us. That means well Montu probably needs to Sobake to feed. But if Sobake comes to us, we are snapping it off. Um if it doesn't, two boar is three points. Um we have five food right now, six seven from Coster. So actually we don't need the food at all. But so bake, um, so bake is a food action that gives us one point, so it's probably the best for us. Taking boar might be better. Take, um, I have to imagine Naros is plow sowing. Read stone food two stone. It Reno is two point actions all the way through. Um, so we just need to take the best actions we can other than that, which is probably so bake into, um, well, I guess we, we can just write three grain as well. So, so bake is, it's one point for the three grain and one point for the veggie. So, so bake is another two point action, but it blocks everybody else. I'll send my farm just so other people know how it looks. Um, well, two boar is three points, so I should take two boar actually over everything. Yeah, five food, six, seven from costering a veggie, eight, nine, 10 from brain. We also have an extra food from raidstone food. Actually, yeah, I mean, if Nero some, for some reason decided to sow bake instead of plow sow, that'd be better, but plow sow has to be better for Naros. Naros doesn't need sow bake at all. Yeah, so we should take two boar over sow bake, actually. Mercator will definitely take sow bake, so sow bake won't wheel. Well, maybe not. So bake is some food for Mercator. Well, yeah, and I don't see how else Mercator gets points. I imagine that's a plow so. Yeah. Montu will probably get two boar here. I don't think Montu wants two boar. Let me make sure. So bake. Um so bake, we go from one grain to four and two veggies to three. Okay, Matu, so baking. That's fine. That's completely fine by us. Yeah, two boar is better. So we go two boar, reedstone food, two stone reno, and sheep. Well, sheep or plow, but definitely two boar here. Forgot to take the stone from the harvest. Mercator taking wood. 
building stables is better than fencing for him. But so um, we should still should, should still trigger Midnight Fencer. Mercator's game is pretty good, but definitely not as good as ours, I don't think. Yeah, I think we're winning by a lot. Naros taking wood to fence, I imagine. We'll take Reedstone food next action, since nobody's taking plow. Um, we can probably plow last action. Plow is one point for Mercator. Um, does he need food? He can eat a boar for three food. Um, well, no, Reed is better than plowing for him. Reed is three food and two point, or three food and a point. Montu takes a sheep. Okay, that's fine. We're we're gonna probably wheel plow anyways, so we definitely take redstone food now. Mercator should build stables here, I imagine. Or take two read. I think those are his last two actions. Naros wants to rent a fence and um, probably take two points on clay deposit, I would imagine. Maybe take a cow. Mercator think he's competing with me? He just cost himself a point just to block a point from me. Maybe he does. But I don't think he is. Montu. Maybe Mercator's certain he's beating Montu. That's interesting. I guess he also has two points for... So he's plus seven. Maybe Mercator has me beat... That's wild. Um, so Mercator needs six food to feed so he can eat one grain. Um, uh, here I take two stone for sure. Yeah, so on my score, plus two for co Coster Monkers, so 45 plus five for Reno plus two. So my current score, and one for boar, so 44 plus four, five, and two for pastors. Have to imagine that beats Mercator. Mercator's whatever his score is, plus five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I think I have Mercator beat. Oh, Monty plays Pickler, sure. He has one, two, three, four, five veggies. Um, so right now he's tying with Naros. Um, I plow. And then... Uh, Reno. Um, it does not do anything for me to, what's it called, to help. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, let me think about helping. Montu can eat a boar. Um, I'll help Montu. Mercator has 45, Montu has 44, plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus 1, 2, plus 7. Uh, I mean, we definitely won. Oh, it was only by one point. Wow. was way closer than I expected. What did Montu get? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if Montu wins easily if Fresh Dirt isn't played. I mean, his game is strong with Synergizer, but, um, yeah, I mean, my setup was great, but... Um, Montu had 49, 49, 55, 55, 54, 42. Yeah, very close game, way closer than I expected considering my, my start, but um, lots of interesting things going on. Taking Bread Paddle over Fruit Tree will haunt me forever, but uh, I think it was the right move. Uh, it definitely ended up working out, and I will see you guys later. Uh, I'll probably play later again today, uh, and definitely later on in the week if I don't end up playing more today, so... See you guys then. Thanks for watching.